Anyone else's school shut down? Weird, huh? I guess I'm just gonna have to make a lot more videos. Hello, my name is Mr. Q. Welcome back to The Kid Explains History. Today I want to talk about something that's pretty relevant to what we're all going through right now. But it's actually happened quite a lot throughout history. It's called the disease pandemic. But what is a pandemic? Well, it's an epidemic that has crossed into different countries and continents. Now you might be saying, okay, okay, you just explained it, I understand, but what's an epidemic? It comes from the Greek words epi, meaning upon or above, and demos, meaning people. Pan means all. So that's a disease that can be spread to all people. Though records aren't really reliable before the 1500s, we do know that one of the first disease outbreaks to be described was the plague of Athens from 430 to 426 BCE. It killed a quarter of the population during the Peloponnesian War. The Antonine Plague hit the Roman Empire in 165 CE and even killed the emperor Marcus Aurelius. And then of course there's the bubonic plague that tore through medieval Europe. We did an episode on that a little while ago, so check this link to see a younger me explain. One of the most famous and deadly pandemics happened in 1918 when World War I was still being fought. It was a horrible strain of influenza that spread quickly around the world, caused a lot of panic, and shut down societies. It also killed between 50 and 100 million people worldwide. It's sometimes called the Spanish flu, not because it came from there, but because the country was neutral in World War I. And that meant it didn't have its press censored. So there were a lot more stories coming out of Spain of people getting the disease. It's a little unfair. Influenza is a respiratory virus that got its name from the Italian word for influence. That's because most people still don't understand what was making patients die. And some thought it was because of a weird alignment of planets. Medical science was just starting to understand what a virus was in the late 19th century because of experiments by Louis Pasteur, Charles Chamberlain, and others. Basically, it's a tiny germ that acts like a parasite. It can't live on its own. It needs to use our bodies as a host. Influenza is very contagious and is usually more dangerous for people who are very young or very old. But not in 1918. A lot of healthy younger people died, including soldiers. Entire families got wiped out and funeral parlors got overwhelmed. Thankfully, influenza viruses have a habit of becoming less lethal over time. This is because people with the deadlier strain die and stop passing it on. And the virus also tends to mutate and become weaker. Life slowly began to return to normal, but the economy was wrecked and pretty much everyone knew somebody who died. There have been other flu pandemics since this time, like in 1957, 1969, and 2009, but nothing has been as devastating as 1918. It helped that the first flu vaccine was produced in the 1940s, and every year new shots are developed to stop new mutations, get vaccinated kids. Which brings us to today. As you know, we're currently facing a new disease. And as we wait for this pandemic to become history, it's up to us to do what we can. Scientists are working hard on a vaccine. But in the meantime, don't be spreaders, people. Because remember, you might have it and not even know. So wash your hands, practice social distancing, and stay home. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Me. Happy birthday to me. Halfway. Thank you for watching, and remember, we at A Kid Explains History like to keep these subjects simple. We're, we're an introduction, but if you did find it interesting, like, there's always a lot more to learn. I personally like watching videos that really get in the weeds, you know, just the most random details. And if you're like me, links in the description below to a couple excellent videos. They're all videos that I watched and loved, so I hope you do too. Like, share, subscribe, follow our social medias. W what else am I missing? Oh yeah, and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to see our new videos. All right, my name is Mr. Q, and I, I'll see you soon. All right, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.